In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do a series of abstract paintings to get great results. Hi, I'm Joy Fay and I'm an artist and I teach abstract painting. I have many courses on uh, helping you develop and expand your skills and your understanding of your painting to get great results. So this video I'm going to give you a demonstration of how a series can really help you move your painting forward. And if you enjoy this video, do give me the thumbs up and press the notification bell if you want more. So let's get started. So here are two of the um, series that I'm, I'm doing. These two are more or less finished now. And um, I'm just going to uh, do the next two. I just wanted to show you um, how this has started. Now these are on wood panels. Uh, 30 by 40 centimeters and you know working in a series is so interesting because uh, you can really get the flow going and here are the two that I'm going to work on. The wonderful thing about a series is you can keep going from one to the other and each one sort of inspires you to do the next. So I think I'm going to begin on this one. Um, I've got my palette ready. Um, I've got um, some uh, cadmium orange, some uh, okra yellow and primary blue, uh, white and black. I like working with a limited palette and then when you're building up a series it's all got some consistency and it's really good how it works together. So I just did a first coat on this and then I'm sort of going to do some more on it. I think I'm going to turn it up that way to work on it. Feel well, that's the way it wants to be. The other thing that I like doing is working with a sponge. I'm just going to give this a bit of a wipe over uh, just to dampen the surface a little. And just going to take a little bit of the white and a little bit of okra on here rub this in, I want this a little bit lighter. The thing with working with a sponge is that you um, you get a good covering really quickly and it's a nice texture. So um, if you haven't tried this before I really recommend it um, and it's a little bit like glazing as an undercoat. I do some glazing on the top of it but it's nice as an undercoat. I'm going to do a little bit more. Um, so just while I'm talking I'm going to do this. So why work in a series? Well <laughs> it's faster, um, it's more productive, it's easier and you get some great results. One of the things is, is that you don't tend to get so attached to one painting and then wonder what to do. Um, when you're working in a series, you can keep, as I said before, sort of swapping one to the other. And um, it stops you kind of getting stuck. It stops you getting um, frustrated, wondering what to do. Because generally speaking, <laughs> um, in working with a series, you, you kind of keep going. And what you might do on one will give you an idea for another. And that makes kind of quite a lot of difference. So I put, um, I put the sponge over here, which I'm pleased with. And then uh, just a selection of brushes. I've got a whole load of different tools here. Um, I think I'm going to go with um, this one, a flat brush. And I'm just going to do something with uh, the black here. And what I'm looking at here is uh, finding balance uh, for the composition. And... Um, so the eye will travel around the picture 
and you know that's kind of like an important part of putting your painting together you see I've got this black down here I don't think this is big enough so I'm going to increase this a little Again, I don't want it the same size as that I want it slightly different and I've just got a little bit of black down here just kind of adds interest to the picture and you know it unfolds as you go and as I've done with the other series you know you start off with something and then it tends to develop into something else and that's kind of like a really nice thing to happen I like different shapes something interesting and um you know, dependent on what your style is, you will find that when you do a series, your style starts to show itself. As you can see with the paintings that I've shown you, suddenly sort of something starts to unfold that you might not have been aware of before. And that makes it, you know, you, you, how would you say, it, you know, you build your confidence. And that's a really important thing to be thinking about is um, as you're working that you're building that confidence to go on to the next and go on to the next. And each one, there's more of a learning than the last one. And you kind of get to see how that works. So I'm going to come in here with this. I'll change the blue slightly. Um, from the teal blue to this paler blue so just using the the limited palette you'll find I'm, I don't do a lot on panels but I'm enjoying this because you'll you fi you'll find it very different from working um, on a canvas and what we're looking for is values uh, that are desired our values, composition, and um, differences. So we've got some interesting things uh, going on with the picture. So I've got that blue. I'm going to darken that now and come in here to that corner with a darker blue. So the contrast with that against the orange is is very nice and we're going to change this up again in a minute and then we might go even darker for over here <clears throat> so might mix with the black a bit but it's okay okay so that's kind of like our base then I'm going to have a think about where we're going to go to from here. Um, I like this idea of the blue, the darker blue, so I think I might just add some of that here for interest sake. It's nice working on the board. I haven't kind of felt runs very felt like that before. It kind of runs very very smoothly. Which is uh interesting. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry off a little bit and I'm going to come on to this one. So this is the great thing about working like this is that you can just swap them over. And while I've got this blue on the go, I'm going to add a little bit of black to that. Not too much. It's a bit too much there. Add a bit of white. Or blue. And I'm going to come in here. I'm liking these 
these curved lines. It's kind of interesting how that's working. Let's come here. And go back to the sponge. Um, these are just sponges that I cut up. There's nothing, there's no great shakes on this. And it works really nicely. So I'm going to put some of this here. And I want it to blend into the orange. And this is another thing about using a sponge is that it's really nice to blend. Very soft. So we want soft lines and we want hard lines um, in any painting for interest sake. And using a sponge is very effective for that. And you can graduate it out, if you can see. It works really well. And you can do it with a brush, but actually doing it with a sponge makes life much easier. <laughs> so let's go stronger down here. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking that. Now let's have a look at this black. So I've got a bit of a thinner brush here. And I'm going to take it down here. So I'm going to go back to the sponge again and come into here. So this is going to be a bit lighter. One of the interesting things about, again, working in a series is you, see, you set a theme. So my theme for this series was is called Finding Connection. And it's a relationship between uh, the landscape and how I feel. You know, the landscape with all its curves and all the trees and the, the hills and the flat fields and all the things that go on and the ever-changing light of it. You know, whatever landscape you're in, if you're in a city, you've got the changing, um, you know, light on the buildings and it's really, you know, fascinating to see how that affects us and what we love about it or what we don't love about it. And I find that, you know, when I'm in the countryside here, I'm surrounded by, you know, a lot of mountains and olive groves and very kind of harsh landscape, how that affects me <laughs> uh, personally. So it's, it's interesting to get the feeling of your environment and and feel how it feels 
and what connection you have with that. And that's really what I'm doing here, is looking at how I feel about everything going on. So I'm going to let that one dry now. I'm going to come back to this. And I want to do something a little bit different here. Um, I think I'm going to do something here. So see how that breaks it up? It's another contrast and I don't want it straight, I want it wobbly. So that's kind of kind of interesting <laughs> how the contrast between the sharp lines and the soft lines. And I think what I'd like to do here. Just again for difference, and you never know, you know, when you're working in this way, how that's going to work. And then, um, I use quite a lot of pens, so I've got a white pen here, and I'm going to put something down here. And I like the idea, this is dry. to wait till this is dry. That's not dry enough yet because I want to draw something else on it. So I'll come back here. You see how they start to come together. You don't get attached and you don't get confused with it. It just sort of starts to happen. So now I want a bit of form in this. So I'm going to turn this round and I'm going to use a different brush. I love putting these lines in. When I have a look at the my landscape, there is a lot of variation in how they divide the fields up for the olives. So there's a lot of this kind of texture, which is kind of interesting. And uh, that's where I kind of get that feeling from. I'm just going to balance it up here. To bring that down. So, as I was saying about a series, so having just done this series of mine, this finding connection, then when you come to do the titles, and I've always kind of found doing titles for paintings quite hard but if you've got your theme and you're working on that theme then the titles are much easier to find and be inspired by okay that's kind of coming together a little bit dry. So this is more or less finished now. I'm going to tidy this up and I want to 
uh, get my pen. This is just a, a white Liquitex um, acrylic pen. And what I like to do is, is do something to just break it up, make it really interesting. Okay, so nearly there. I'm going to wait for that to dry and do something similar. So when I put the set together, I'll see if I can do a picture so you can see them all together. Um, how they all sort of flow as being part of, you know, this a series of paintings. So when they're together, they look lovely and you can have them on a wall, you know, as part of a whole set. So uh, I hope you found that interesting. Now, if you would like to dive deeper into how to put together, put together a series and how you go about finding your theme, um, working towards it, I've got a great course on um, the process of creating a series and I'll put the link in that uh, below for you to have a look at. Um, so if you've enjoyed, do like and make a comment and I look forward to seeing you again soon. So bye for now.